A timeout, decide not to call it. Into the hands of James Harden. Westbrook for three. Won't go. Rebound, George. Gets away, and then they finally foul him with 1.2 remaining. Foul him with 1.2 remaining. And Paul George will go to the free throw line, where he's 6 of 7. Tello, Tracy Wolfson here in Oklahoma City. And Beverly goes over to help Westbrook up. And Westbrook just knocks away the hand of Beverly. And well, Beverly's like, all right. You'll see after the foul is called, Beverly reaches out, extends a hand to help Westbrook up, shoves him in the back. I watch Westbrook take that hand, knock it away. I can get up myself. Harden, Harden's wide open. Get in there. Big defensive mistake there by OKC. You got, you've got to find James Harden in transition. You can't give him anything wide open. That's his first basket of the game. And Scott Brooks wants to call a timeout. And Beverly again and Westbrook. They've got a history of this. Beverly tried to steal the ball. Westbrook took exception to it again. And a scuffle breaks out. Now they're trying to break it up. There it is right there as Westbrook. Westbrook gets ready to call a timeout and Beverly comes over and knocks the ball away. Now they called a technical foul on Pat Beverly after talking about it for a couple of minutes. But Kevin McHale takes exception because of the right elbow that uh, Russell Westbrook put out there. Pat Beverly arches it up and in. Westbrook went for the steal and got burned. Beverly almost gets the steal. Westbrook on the floor. And again, they go after it. Pat Beverly will take no quarter. He's Eddie Haskell with muscles. Well, he almost gets the steal right there. But that's an obviously a foul. You can't wrap your arms around somebody. But it seems like Pat Beverly just feeds off of the booze from the crowd. The crowd is all over him, and he is fired up. He's not going to back up. I don't think there's anybody in the league will admit they enjoy playing against him. Uh, Hashim Thabit just threw an elbow and hit Pat in the face as he was walking by. Russell, what's your expectations for Sam going into the summer? Um, my expectation is just to be a, a player. Um, you know, Sam has done a great job of uh, putting a team together and, and putting guys in an organization that's supposed to be here. Um, and my job is to go out and play and compete, and that's all I do. Uh, Russell, things got a little contentious between you and, and uh, Patrick Beverly. Can you talk about, you know, kind of what happened there? Oh, yeah, he was talking about he was first team all defense, but I, 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 I didn't know what the hell he was talking about because I had 42 at the time, um, the series – you know, I don't know what he talking about. Maybe he was dreaming of some shit. I don't know. Sorry, excuse my cuss word, but I don't know what he was talking about. But I guess he, he wanted to be first team all defense or something. Maybe he was dreaming about it. I don't know. <coughs> Pat, congrats on the win. Uh, can you talk, walk <laughs> us through a little bit about um, kind of what did Russell Westbrook say to you during that exchange that got you so, you know, upset? No, oh, no. Uh, that's actually the first time we uh, we've exchanged words this uh, you know this postseason. But uh, he's a uh, he's a really good player. He uh, applies a lot of pressure just due to his athleticism and his his creating ability. But now it shocked me because he said he looked up and said, "No one can guard me." I got forty points. I'm like, "That's nice." He took thirty four shots to get it. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to bash anybody, but I mean, you know, men lie, women lie, but the numbers don't. Collectively, as a unit, we've done a great job on them. Uh, we try to make them um, shoot a lot of tough shots, and and uh, the numbers show. Block the shot. He used to go to the front of the rim, pick up that garbage. 42-41 in Westbrook, hobbling away. 
Beverly went for the steal just as the timeout was called, and he actually got part of the knee of Russell Westbrook. He is really upset with Beverly right now. He's looking over at Patrick Beverly, and now that's over. Frustrated, and trying to walk it off. And you see it. The side swipe by Beverly, right on the right knee of Westbrook. Come on with the questions, man. Come on, what y'all waiting on? Yeah, what happened on that? What did he do? I went for a loose ball. What you think happened? What happened that I don't know. Somebody walked to our bench, you know, doing all that capping stuff. You know, I don't, you know, I don't know what that is. You know, walked to our bench, you know, doing this and all that. You know, I don't know. Things went uh, kind of haywire from there, of course. Uh, two competitors, no one's going to back down, no one did. You see two technicals. Continue. Well, good scheme for that. If your man is just going to be able to take you on a direct line drive as Westbrook fouls. That's just a foul. One of the. Inbounds. Oladipo's got it. Adams down low. Robertson is off in the corner. Here's Westbrook in a bad pass. And picked up by Beverly in a foul call on Westbrook. He throws down Beverly like a rag now. Westbrook has got four. About that defense. Look at the defense here by Beverly. We talked about him loving moments like this defensively. This is. You from Chicago. Now they're having words. I love it. Mm -hmm. Why? Houston, so cold in the third, has gone six of seven to <laughs> this fourth right. quarter. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, that, okay. This is playoffs. And if you're Mark Davis, all they're doing is whooping. Why should there be a double technical? Unless they're calling in on Beverly. Double technical. Man, let the energy flow. I don't buy that. You gotta see that. They're professionals, supposedly. And that's what you call a makeup foul. Well, I don't know. Patrick Beverly got hit right in the nose. I don't know if he took an elbow or what, but he is in pain. Russell Westbrook went right by him, and when he did, watch this. Boom. Oh, oh elbow. Elbow to the nose. To the nose. That, yep. In the case of. When you take, try to take away a guy's face, you going they're going to rearrange your nose. And they didn't call the foul Boom. on Beverly. They called it on the charge right there. On Delfino. Wants to post up Beverly again. With that height advantage, goes right by him to slither it around the crafty defensive player who just can't defend him. Not your Beverly right now. Well, Beverly just, who's a good defensive player. Beverly. Sensing that very aggressive defense just <laughs> took him to the basket. Oh, we got to get a replay of Patrick Beverly doing, rocking the baby on the oh, way down oh, the court. He, he sure is. Yes. <laughs> just rock that baby. Yeah, he heard OKC. Off to Philadelphia tomorrow. Ball's kicked away in the floor. And they're going to call a foul on Bradley. Patrick Bell, Beverly, we all know, you know, who he is and what he does. You know, he's a hard-nosed defender. And, 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 you know, going at the legs right there, Russ did a good job just walking away, jumping up in the air. After the foul from Patrick Beverly, who went a little low on Russell Westbrook. And as we mentioned earlier, these two with a little bit of history. On, on that same type of play. On that same type of play. And then Beverly with some words for Westbrook. He didn't like it. They started chirping. And, of course... The official stepping in, issuing the technical fouls. Westbrook under trying to figure out what the low blow was all about from Patrick Beverly. 